Hi everyone, it's Tim Topham here from topmusic.co and I'm delighted to have Paul and Gillian from Piano Teaching Success here at Piano Pivot Live 2020 in order to record some fantastic interviews with our speakers and give you a bit of a backstage pass. And if you really want to immerse yourself in what Piano Pivot is really like and if you enjoy this interview, then make sure you grab one of our virtual tickets. The virtual tickets are fully edited professional recordings of our speakers actually on stage doing their thing, live teaching, keynote workshops. Uh, and if you want to grab that, head to pianopivotlive.com slash virtual. We'll see you there. Hi, Paul and I are here in Melbourne and we're joining uh, Tim Topham for Piano Pivot Live, which kicks off tomorrow, Tim, doesn't it? I'm so excited, finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been so much work. It has, and it's been a year in the making, this, uh, this conference, so I'm delighted to have you guys here with us as well, and uh, great to have a quick chat. Too. Yeah, thrilled to be here. So, why did you do this to yourself? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's been such a big, a big project, but yes. I've wanted to do it for years, and I've, I've really, I've taken a lot from the conferences that I've visited, both in Australia and, and overseas, and one of the things that I've found in a lot of those conferences, they can be a bit academic sometimes, mm. and a lot of them just neglect a whole important aspect of running a studio, which is the business side of things. Mm. And so I really wanted to combine both innovation and creativity and pedagogy, so the teaching side of things, with looking at a studio business and how to make it run efficiently and how to enable teachers to feel kind of confident and calm in what they're doing and not that it's not a stress and they're not scrounging for, for money and hopefully can build a business that's both sustainable and enjoyable to run. Yeah. So focusing on those two areas is really important to me at this conference. Yeah, it is so important and I think uh, so many piano teachers do all of the studies is on their art form mm. um, and then somehow somehow they're expected to know how to run a business right yeah and put it all together and find their unique path and and uh, their unique offering and very much I guess most end up teaching the way they were taught to start out right. with yep. and then, as did I you know. as did I <laughs> <laughs> and then you find you start to explore and find hopefully you start to explore some don't and that's a shame but mm. I think this is when coming to uh, events like this and listening to podcasts like you've given us a just a wealth of um, of knowledge and um, inspiration well thank you yeah look I love if there's one thing I love more than anything it's it's getting great people together and sharing cool ideas mm. and just enabling that knowledge to flow I, I just I don't understand the kind of closed door philosophy of teaching like this is my space oh, and no. you can't see what I'm doing yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah. let's just share ideas because it, yeah. it builds us all up I think it comes from fear you know I really do I was talking to Gloria St Germain mm. uh, last Saturday and we were discussing the same sort of same point and why why don't people come out and do more um, come to events like this more and um, you know, take on some more training and I think sometimes they're thinking a bit fearful oh I don't know maybe I'm going to be found out as an imposter you know there's uh, imposter yes. syndrome yeah, yeah. thing no, and very very important yeah I think that could be part of it I think <coughs> yep. it's a whole heap of reasons I, I think uh, the other aspect of the conference which relates to what you were just talking about is the cost factor and mm. I know that a lot of music teachers uh, struggle to make an income that can support them and so coming to a conference like this where they've got to pay for some accommodation and travel there mm. you know it, yeah, it, adds, it adds up, up. Um, yeah. and so one of the big focuses of this event is helping all our teachers get a return on their investment. Mm -hmm. So we're actually, we've got focused sessions, we're mm -hmm. calling them masterminds, and then on Friday an implementation session where the goal is to actually set down a plan of how you can earn back the investment that you've made by coming here, mm -hmm. by perhaps you know uh, running a summer camp coming up, mm -hmm. or doing a workshop mm -hmm. on sight reading for your students, mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, to or try even double, <coughs> or even double the amount of money it costs you to come Right, here. absolutely, yeah, triple it. <laughs> um, and, and I've got a great uh, story to tell everyone about a member who's done exactly that. She joined us on a, on a professional membership, and she said, right, I'm going to earn this money back yes. within the first month, and she did it. So yeah, so about how good. Did that. Yeah. that is just so good. And we've got a fabulous lineup. Yeah, oh, you've put yeah. together an amazing team. <laughs> All my can you tell us? <laughs> can you tell us about some of them? Yeah, so you probably heard about our keynotes. We've got Samantha Coates, who everyone knows and loves, as do uh, as they do Carly um, from Adelaide as well. Mm -hmm. We've got Anita Collins, who everyone in Australia will know if you watch the yes, ABC yes, series about yes. music in primary schools, yes. which is phenomenal. And we've got Philip Johnston, who 
actually is a little bit unusual. He doesn't speak very often, so I've been able to pull him out of Canberra <laughs> and drag him down here because he's and away written, from writing all his books. Yeah, he's <laughs> written all these incredible books, but yes. he doesn't really speak so much. <laughs> he's been on the podcast, so I know he's going to be great. So he's speaking as well. But then we've also got uh, Nicola Canton, who's yes. flown in from Ireland, Ireland to oh. be here. She's giving two presentations. I, uh, I'm a member of her vibrant um, music teaching group, uh, yeah. and it's, she's so good. You uh. know, her resources are so beautiful. She's a superstar. Yeah, yeah she's games. Really and I see great. that on the program, she's going to be talking about some of her games. So that's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. She's a game session and then a session on inclusive teaching and special needs, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. That's We've got big. Anastasia Butner Moore from mm -hmm. Perth, who's also been on my podcast a couple of times. Mm -hmm. She's talking about more the business side, studio metrics and, and looking at your your numbers actually which is um, good and, and she's kind of young she's sort of you know on the younger end of Absolutely. things isn't she so yeah. it's really nice to see some new blood yeah. and some new members coming into our um our our profession. Absolutely, totally. Um, who else have we got? We've got Ruth Power from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. She's talking about Instagram and mm -hmm. how you can use that to build oh, your studio. Social so, media. Social mm -hmm. media. Um, I'm doing a live teaching demonstration tomorrow, which I'm looking, really looking forward, forward to. to. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be so much fun. I'd love doing those things. Uh -huh. um, and I'm also doing a mashup session, which is all about pulling music apart and improvising with them. Um, and who else have, I, have, I got, have I covered everyone? Oh, Paul Myatt, of Paul. course, who you can't see, he's just off the side no, no. of the camera. <laughs> he's doing, doing tech support at he, the He's doing um, a session on whole body learning. So bringing together the, that, uh, the, some of the off kind of ideas of using the body and movement and rhythm and, and speech in order to help students understand what they're learning rather than just go straight to the notes and try Multi and read them Multi-century like learning yeah, is another so way of putting it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have forgotten someone, but they're the ones that yeah, yeah, there's spring to So mind. there's just yeah. so many. It's going to be it's such an exciting two days. And um, for those of, those people at home that are thinking, oh, maybe I should have come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so excited that you're offering an e-ticket. We are. So we've got virtual tickets and they're available. You can grab them now and they're actually at a discounted price. Oh. So grab them now, pianopivotlive.com slash virtual. We'll get you a virtual pass. And that is preferred professionally recorded videos of all our on-stage workshops, lectures, live teaching keynotes. Professionally edited with the PowerPoint so you can see what the slides are. Because mm. I hate it when you, you watch presentations and you can only see yeah. them speaking. It's like, what's on the slide? Yeah. So we're mixing all that together and we're selling that as a package um, at the pianopivotlive.com slash virtual. So mm -hmm. really excited about that. Anyone around the world, you can jump in and grab that. Mm. But as well as that, of course, We've got you and Paul here yeah. to do these interviews, and these are completely free. Yes. So Paul and Gillian, I'm so delighted, are here to interview our speakers and guests and some of our delegates, probably some members, to give you the backstage experience hmm. of what it's like being at Piano Pivot Live yeah. and you're live streaming these. And to give you a bit of a taste test about what you might also learn in, you know, if you decide to go on with an e-ticket. Absolutely. So yeah. a little bit of a little bit of a taster and, yeah. you know, and probably also some of our key learnings as we're coming along. That's right. So we're yeah. going to be some of the busy. We, you're going to be extremely busy, of course, <laughs> but we're also going to be extremely busy because no, we're going to come and then we're going to be interviewing I remember everybody. when you were at APBC <laughs> doing the same thing and Paul like madly scribbling all these notes because you then can take those questions that you have yes. and the thoughts about a presentation and go to the uh, speaker live yes. and say, hey, Tell us more about this. Tell us more about this. This was really interesting. Or I don't agree with this. Or whatever it is. <laughs> I don't think we ever said that. <laughs> <laughs> because there are just so many, so many wonderful, creative people. And of course, we're music teachers and, and piano teachers, so the creativity goes a little bit hand in hand with our profession. To some extent. Mm, mm. But there's such wonderful ideas out there, and it's so good to be able to share them in a forum like this. And there's nothing like being here live. But eTick is the next best thing, That's and right. hopefully our little taste test of the interviews over the next couple of Absolutely. days would be great too. And, and I just should say, sorry, on that too, because at conferences there are so many amazing ideas flying around, just remember that one mm. of the things that we're trying to do this conference is help you grab one of those ideas mm. and implement a plan to enact that mm. in your studio. Straight away. Right, straight away. So mm. you don't just get overwhelmed and excited and inspired, which is great, but then go back to doing everything the way that you mm. were doing. We really want to make this a pivot, that's hence the name, we're pivoting, we're going to change something about your teaching or your business so that you can take something in a different direction. Mm. And then feel about three months from now, I'm so glad I did that. Right? Yeah, exactly. So what is, oh I guess that is really probably the biggest takeaway, that's your big takeaway, that's what you're wanting that's to That's what I want people to do, yeah. yeah. I want them to, yes, get inspired, it's the start of a new year, uh, here mm, in Australia at least. It's a great time to just get motivated by amazing speakers and the, the buzz and the vibe yeah. of the community, which this is. Yeah, um, we're here in the Hangout, the yeah, conference, the conference hangout. hangout. I, 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 
I, I think um, we're going to overlay some imagery of what this actually yeah, looks yeah, like. Yeah. It is so cool. Yeah. This was one of the real selling points for me for this venue, that it's not just a fluorescent box yeah. with stalls in it. This yeah, is, no. Well, it's, as, it's you're, as you're seeing fun. now, it's pretty cool. It's quite fun. We've got Amy B there. We've got Kawhi down here. We've got a hell in it over there. And Fine music. You've yes. got some of the exam boards as well. Amy B. Yes. Uh, De Vera's yes. coming as well, yes. which is the Alfred representative yes. in Australia. So, yes, yeah. and we're going to have people milling around here yep. tomorrow. Aren't we? we have lunch times and morning teas and breakouts and yep. having a chat to each other. Because sometimes that's also where you learn some fabulous ideas. And even if someone you, you meet someone in a, um, a session and, you, and they've got a really good idea, but they thought, oh, yeah, I'm going to do it that way, you can go, oh, yeah, that's a great that's way true. of doing yeah. it. You know? yeah. It's about learning like from everyone. Absolutely. Mm. Well, thank you, Tim. Pleasure. Thank Looking you so much for Looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> See you then. Bye.